get out and vote. That's your, that is the best privilege this country has, is your right to vote. Mm -hmm. We're at Redeemer Lutheran Church. Um, we're here for the consolidated election. We'll be here from about 5.30 till the polls close. I've been an election judge for over 40 years. Gone from marking your ballot with an X <laughs> to the punch cards, to the computers, and now to the, all the computers. <laughs> it's been interesting and fun. And you get to know all the people in the community. And they walk in, and if they don't see you, they think they're in the wrong polling place. <laughs> I've always enjoyed doing it. I think it's just something I felt like giving back to the community by being an election judge. And then when my husband retired, he joined me, and he's been doing it for about five years. I have played, um, I probably shouldn't tell you this, Yahtzee <laughs> at some elections when we haven't been too busy. Um, we usually read books or just get to know the, the other judges in our precinct. I think people are really, at this point in time, taking a real big interest in what's going on in the country and in the state and in the city. And I think it's very important that everyone does take an active part. It's, it's very important. A lot of new voters, and it's fun to help them and explain to them you know, what to do. And, and I especially like young people that have you know, come in to vote for the first time. Here, Sue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this. Um, but as long as I feel like I'm alert, I'll do it. I'll do it. When I feel like I, I'm just, when I'm too tired at the end of the day not to be able to focus, then I'll say I'm done. <laughs> oh.